suddenly you just get this sort of s very casual, blasé attitude. Well, what, you know, what, what are you concerned about? But we've paid for that. Our money's been used for that. So we take another batch, law and order, social relations, security, internal politics, foreign relations. Um, BBC actually reported this, but on the basis of uh, London riots, there's a need that we have uh, faster courts, so fast that you don't even have to appear in them. You can appear by video link, and you're in the court, dealt with, sentenced, and out. So these are the Stasi courts. And of course, Ken Clark was the man who set this lot up, and then he's slipped out of the job. But they're using the trouble in London as an excuse that they need to have a system of mass courts. Of course, none of them will have juries. So this is, this is very, very dangerous stuff. And of course, it's, uh, we've, we've seen what Blair's been up to with Jack Straw, but now we've got the residue of Ken Clark. So you get in these courts, there is no jury. Um, just put up a photograph of the courts of um, misjustice, unjustice, whatever it is. Uh, we could have a big discussion about that building. But if you've ever been to any cases up there, you just get a feeling that it's one big building of corruption. Here's the trouble um, on the London streets that we've seen. So just bear in mind what that table was talking about. It was starting to talk about breakdown and conflict. And now we've started to see that happen. And we've also got the police now acting unusually. So how many of you saw this? This was a blind man who they tasered because they thought he was carrying a samurai sword. So the, the police were initially, I believe, in a car. They didn't bother to go by him. They didn't bother to get in front of him or look. They simply tasered him and then jumped on his back and handcuffed him with him saying, I'm blind, I'm blind. Um, the papers made a big deal out of it, you know, blind man tasered. But what I'm interested in is what was going through the minds of the police. Well, absolutely, yeah. So we're, we're talking to quite a lot of police these days. And this is getting very interesting because they do talk to us and they're taking information and they know that they've got colleagues who are not acting normally. And I think this is the result of the training that the police have been given and they are not acting normally. <laughs> 